Hello and welcome. Today we are going to discuss about abstract class in object oriented programming and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So we will see what is an abstract class and we will also see a very simple practical example for abstract class. If I go to Google and search for abstract class here you can see it says an abstract class is a class that is declared abstract it may or may not include abstract methods. Abstract classes cannot be instantiated, but they can be subclassed. Now, this is of course not very clear. So let me go to the images. And here, let me first show you a image that has some of the rules and properties for abstract class. And you can see this. So an abstract class must be declared with an abstract keyword. So I will just show you in a moment practically that we have to put a keyword abstract before the class so that it is considered as abstract. It can have abstract methods and non-abstract methods as well. It cannot be instantiated. So it, you cannot create objects of an abstract class and it can have final methods and it can also have constructors and static methods as well. And if I show you an example, so here let us see an example. So you can see here we use the keyword abstract to declare the class as abstract and we can have abstract methods as well and to show you some more examples so here you can see here we have declared an abstract animal class and then there are these child classes so this is uh, we will continue with our topic of inheritance and we have already learned about inheritance earlier now in abstract classes we can create the parent class as abstract so that we can define some generic rules and let me show you how this is done I will go to my Eclipse and go to my project and here I will create another let me go to inside oops package and inside this oops package I am going to create another package and I will say this as abstract demo and finish and it has come here that's fine I will go inside this and do a right click and go to new other and search for groovy and select groovy class or groovy type and go to next and select class and I will uh, say I want to create a class car and I will say finish so as of now this is a simple class but I can now say I will use the abstract keyword and now this is an abstract class and inside this I can have some fields like we have done earlier I will say name color and model and then we can have some methods like start engine and if we have a body that means it is a concrete method so this is a concrete method because I'm putting a body for this and I will say engine started for whatever is the name of the car and then if I want to create a abstract method I will say abstract and def and I will say top speed and that's it so I'm not providing any body for this method that means it is an abstract method and also I have put the keyword abstract and this is a concrete method so this is now an abstract class which is defined by putting the abstract keyword and then it can have concrete methods as well as abstract methods now when we instantiate uh, sorry when we create a child so see one of the properties that we have learned is we cannot instantiate an abstract class and we cannot instantiate so we cannot create objects of an abstract class we have to first extend or inherit it so I will create a new groovy class and I will say Toyota and finish and here if I will say to do inheritance I will say extends car and this is coming from extends demo and now you can see as soon as I put extends and say extends car there is an error and if I hover over the error it says if I go here it says groovy can't have an abstract method in a non-abstract class 
the class abstract demo dot Toyota must be declared abstract or the method top speed must be implemented. So when we are inheriting from an abstract class, we are forced to provide implementation for the abstract methods. So either I have to declare this class as well as abstract or I have to provide implementation for the abstract method and you can see the abstract method in this class is top speed. So if I go here and I will click add unimplemented methods and you can see it has directly created our top speed method and I can provide some body. I will just say here println top speed for and I will use the name variable is and I can actually create a field uh, this should be integer top speed and I will use it here I'll say dollar top speed and that's it and then whenever I want to create an object for this class I will say I'll just copy the main method from my earlier class so I'll just go here and this is how we define a main method so you can also have a main method separately in a separate class or you can I will just put a main method here and that's it and now here I will say I will create an object for Toyota so I will say so I cannot create an object for the abstract class if I say car car 1 equals new car and I say this here I am getting an error and if I hover over you cannot create an instance from the abstract class so I cannot do that I will have to say Toyota car 1 equals new Toyota and now I can access all the fields and methods so I can say color let me first say name name equals Toyota and I will say model equals 2019 and I will say color equals red and I will say top speed is 250 and now I can call the methods I can call the parent class methods like start engine I can also call the child class method so I will call start engine as well as I will call top speed function and now if I run this so you can see this is my entire class and if I run this I'll do a right click run as groovy or java should work you can see engine started for Toyota and then top sp speed for Toyota so I think this is top top speed for Toyota is 250 so this is how you can define abstract classes now what is the need of having abstract classes is whenever you are doing your programming or object oriented programming whenever you want to have a generic all the generic uh, methods or attributes or properties you can actually put them all in a class and make it as abstract and also have some abstract methods now whenever we create a uh, child class or whenever we extend this abstract class the user will be forced to provide implementation for all the abstract methods so to keep consistency in all the child classes we can use this kind of a model and if I take you here uh, and I show you what is the use of abstract class you can say in Java or in general as well in Groovy and here I will go to this and you can see abstract class provides a template for the future specific classes so whenever we want to have a template now this can also be done when I, even if we do not put this class as abstract whenever we just do this and then we will inherit it from this class it will still be a template but then we will not be forced to provide implementation for any method so in this case we can be forced the user to provide implementation by keeping abstract methods in the abstract class use abstract class to provide default behaviors code re reusability so whatever is the default behavior can be put in abstract class it defines common interface for its subclasses and its methods can be declared and the implementation can be provided later in the concrete class that we have already seen 
These are useful when creating components because they allow us to specify an invariant level of functionality in some methods but leave the implementation of other methods until a specific implementation of that class is needed. So here we have seen we have a top speed method which was abstract but then we have other concrete methods and then we can have other methods specific to the child class as well. So here uh, the when creating a class library which will be widely distributed or reused specially to clients use an abstract class in preference to interface because it simplifies versioning now this other uh, interface we will learn in a separate session so do not worry about this but this is how an abstract class works and here if I take you to the general section you can see we have a stack overflow article as well on when and why to use abstract classes I'm going to copy the link and provide this link in the notes and all these notes will be available to you so you can read more on abstract classes and I hope you now understand what abstract classes and how to use them I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching